Annyeonghaseyo! Okay, hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my channel and today as you can see we're outdoors again and I'm continuing my series on Shijang Mokbang in Seoul and today I have brought you to this market called Nam De Moon Shijang. I think um, the Singaporeans, if you're watching this video, you will know what Nam De Moon Shijang is. It's just that Kwangjong Shijang is kind of more popular amongst the tourists, I think because of Netflix or whatever stuff. But um, the thing about Nam Demun Shijang is it's very popular among the locals as well because I would say that after doing some research, it's a bit like Korea's Chatu Chak. If you know Chatu Chak means that it's a market in Thailand whereby they can buy a lot of things from clothes to furniture, accessories, um, for touristy stuff. But in Kwangjong Shijang, it's just like food. So here they have a variety of things. Also have clothes yeah, of course, Kwangjong and Shijang have clothes also, but it's more traditional clothes only. Here, they have like really a lot of stuff. They even have like plates, um, decor, home decor, and stuff like that. So, this market was built kind of was founded 60 years after Kwangjong Shijang. So, I did a bit of research. Kwangjong Shijang was opened in 1904, and here is 1964. So, um, yeah. The market here has a lot of food and uh, kori, kori, uh, korumok. What's what's it in English? Uh, a lot of streets, a lot of um variety. I said there's a variety of streets whereby each street has its own tikjing, whereby they sell different stuff. So I will be introducing to you not all the streets. I'll tell you what's there, but I'll be eating the famous foods from here also. So let's go check it out. We're driving cars on the Mars tonight We're passing up to the stars tonight We wanna go, go We wanna go, go So basically, Naughty told me that um, Namdebun Sijang, the origin of it is because um, there is a gate that used to be built around the palace and this is the south gate of it. And then they decided to build a Shijang around it. So we're crossing the very famous roads. The first place that we're gonna look for is very, very, very famous, even among the tourists in Namdenu Market. Is you have to try this hot dog place, and I found it. I mean, Naughty also ate it before, but I found it I through. How huh, you say ate it before? I ate one time, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I found it through um, Sang Yi's YouTube. Thank you so much, Sang Yi, once again. <laughs> and he said it's the best hot dog and most Kasong B hot dog that he eats in his life. So I'm gonna go try that now. Let's go. Oh shit, it's Zoom. Okay. You say? So Nam De Moon is also actually known as Sung De Moon because. Sung De Moon. Sung. Sung De Moon. Because Mr. Naughty will explain it to you why. Because Nam De Moon is because on the south, but the name is actually Sung De Moon. Like, you are the first kid, but you are Jeanette. But it's easier ah. to be first kid, so it's first kid. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I get it, I get it. Yep. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, actually, there's quite a lot of, well, actually, so quite a lot of as well. Maybe it became more after COVID is over already, so. I think it used to be a lot though. Here? Well, I didn't. That time my friend came here to buy a lot of pot and bring back to Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, see, there's a lot of things here actually that people buy. I don't remember coming here though. Yeah. Well, this is not very. not a place I think that people you have will to, visit. Like, have exacting what you want to buy here. That's mm. why it's more harder. But then, Kwangjang is like you can just go and buy food. So just eat, food. right? Yeah. Oh, but it's, they, yeah, they sell the a lot of other stuff. Also. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they have an uh, army. Uh, yong, yong so, Fung Kori. Yeah, this one is quite famous also. Okay, but let's eat the hot dog first. Ooh, okay, let's try later. I'm so excited. Ooh, we haven't eaten the whole day. Um, these people wearing the red coats. So you will see them in Hongdae, you will Everywhere. see them in Myeongdong, and almost all the tourist spots because they will give you information if you are lost about where to go. And they speak a lot of languages, and English is definitely one of oh, them. You so you speak Japanese, this one. Yeah, you, do, you can see it's always here, so. Yeah, don't mind asking them. They yeah. are government people. Yeah, they are very friendly, I think. <laughs> okay, so this is the very famous Yache Hot Talk. And as you can see, there is a line oh waiting. God. It's under here only, right? I've seen it go worse, eh? Okay, so we're gonna try. So nice, huh? The fella say queue how long? 
She said that we have to queue for one hour, maybe, because it's like that, but... We? I see a lot of... I care, but it's okay though. Is it? Yeah. But what? But the thing is, there's people queuing for it. It's not only foreigners, eh. The local people are queuing for it also. And hot dog is usually must be pool, no? They are known for their yache hot dog, is it? Yeah. So we waited for about 20 minutes and um, thankfully it's one third of the time that the auntie said So we're almost at um, the front already. There's two more people waiting in front of us So we decided to get the yache hot dog, which is the famous one Namdemu yache hot dog as well as the pool hot dog because hot dog is supposed to have pool inside, right? They have the part hot dog as well, but I wanted to review part in Pungopang instead in the next episode So um, yes, I'm really excited. You better taste them good, okay? Uh, 안녕하세요. 저희 야채 핫떡 하나랑요. 꿀 핫떡 하나요. 먹을 건가요? 네. 감사합니다. 야채요? 네, 감사합니다. 오케이, okay, I'm so excited to try. Okay, I try the 야채 one first. Okay, this is the 야채 one. I saw the young man was so cool. Do you see? They have like apples and all the inside. Mmm, smells so nice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, I'm gonna try the yachi one. Mmm. <gasps> now I know why it's busy for you. It's really very nice though. Mmm. It's very like, there's a lot of ingredients inside. Outside crispy, inside it's soft. And the yang yam that they spread is very like, suitable, well fit with this. Mmm! <sighs> mm. Oh my! What? Hmm. One dollar Huh? One dollar. Hey, the other one. Wow. Now I know why people are for it. Really very nice. Hey, the other one. Hey, the cool hot dog. Wow. Hmm. This one. This is better because I think they are known for this and the young name is really very nice. In fact, can you see? The chapter is thick, everything is thick, and there's not much flour. And they make it very crispy outside. This one is nice also, but I think nothing will like it because there's a bit of cinnamon taste. Oh. But they have a lot of like stuff inside also. But it's so nice. Now I know why people queue for it already. Woo! I do like this one. Where did you that time? I forgot. Long ago already. But this one you really like. Is it? Mm. So Whoa. nice, right? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So nice, right? Wow. I'm so very sure this one dollar, eh? One dollar twenty cents now, but wow. this is really nice. Mmm. Wow. Huh? <laughs> what do you eat? Surprisingly good. What I don't think you like. I think I'll do this time. Now I know why you are famous for this one. Wow. This is really nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Uh. I feel like cool hot dog inside must be watery. Huh? It's not so watery. Maybe you can try the part and let me know. Mm. Oh, but this is so nice. Eh. Wow, how is this so nice? Must buy. Wow. Mm. Okay. So after this, we are going to go to the Kalgutsu Kori. The bokori because here they are known for their sweets, right? So we're gonna go there and we're gonna show you how is it like. It's a bit different from Kwangtan Shijang. So let's check it out. Wow, this is so nice, babe. Okay, so what happened is, right, in Korea it's very famous whereby you do something... I mean, you make a chop for your name. So actually, um, 
Hansu second sister made it for me before but it was in my Korean name like the Korean translation of my name which doesn't work because you have to put your full English name inside and because my English name is so long sometimes people cannot do it so apparently you can do it so let's see if you can really do it for me and then you can, can replace sign oh yes yes you can replace your signature but you have to register it at the Chumin Center the community center so let's see my name is so long future the moms space. please don't name your kid such a long name <laughs> Okay, so that's how long my name is, guys. Very long. Yeah, hopefully you can put it in. Who's it? Eh? I feel like he got his name wrong, but... Oh, there you go. Jinette, Jinette, that's right. The T, 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 the T. I want to eat it. Thank you. I'm going to eat the chapchi one. Yeah. Thank you. Wow! Only I got my name. Nice. Got it? Yeah. Okay, now we go where? Oh, now we have to go really to the Kalguksu Kori. Let's go. I'm gonna throw away, I keep eating. <laughs> okay, so here we reached the, the Kalguksu Kori where they're gonna go in. So it's gonna be a bit um, stressed because people ask you to come and eat, come and eat. Okay, so let's go and see. Yeah. I'm scared. How do you want to go? Yeah, you think I just want to go first? Yeah, you think I just want to go first? Yeah, you think I just want to go first? Yeah, you think I just want to go first? Yeah, you think I just want to go first? Yeah, you think I just want to go first? Yeah, you think I just want to go first? Yeah, you think I just want to go Okay. So, then, Singapore is a little bit. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, you're in Singapore. Yeah. You're in Singapore. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I decided to stop by this store. Oh, crap. <laughs> so, I decided to stop by this store. Eh? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, so, I, I keep getting cut. Okay, so we decided to sit here because it seems that it came out on TV before and um, even the Japanese, like, YouTube, so I reviewed this place. So this place is actually called, um, the name of this shop is called Sejame, Sejame. Oh, means three sisters. Okay, maybe they union this place with three of their family members. And um, here everything sells in set. So you can buy like noodle with naengmyeon or noodle with kalguksu or sujebi. And okay, basically it's a set. Like, I'll show you the menu later. So we decided to come here and the auntie is very nice. She keeps telling me Korean man is the best and I, I married rightly. Oh, she knows I'm filming. Okay, so anyways, we're just going to try the food and tell you how it tastes like. Yeah. Are they the three sisters? Oh, this one is just a service. Are they together? They are three sisters. Oh, they are. Yeah, one, two, three. What's the shop name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's three siblings. <laughs> yeah, this one is service. So, ooh, uh, um, free bonus, bonus yeah. Okay. Mmm, looks nice though. I think, right, actually, to be honest, right, Kwangdong Sijang, they also sell kalguksu and it's a bit, it's nice, but I wouldn't say it's like, wow, until we queue so long for it that time, eh, but.
Mmm. 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 You like this because the noodle is like they make themselves. Mmm. 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 Why mm. so? The noodle. So nice, huh? Ah. So nice. I like it. I like that. The noodle is like Singapore you know, They make it from scratch. And not I don't think they use machine. I think they make their own noodles. Mm, very savory. Yeah. Ning and cut it. Oh, they, no, no, I think they mm. the Not service? I think no, yeah. Mm. yeah, maybe they split the Kaigo Sun to us. They say service here. Okay, we will only figure out later when the food comes, then we will know whether this is service or not. But so nice, so known for their kimchi, and I think, I think Kaigo Sun usually their kimchi is nice, and this one is really, really nice. Mm. Very juicy, I can taste the money. Nice? It's very old style. Mm. Very spicy style. Not so, not so like, chagu <laughs> jongi, what's that? Like, it, it doesn't attack you. <laughs> what is it? Uh, when you are set to study, you only date, right? <laughs> <laughs> They split it into two for us, so cute. Okay, so we figure out it's not service, but they the service is they split it into two for you. Which is quite interesting because it's hard to share actually. Ooh. Oh, I think my teeth were pain though. Mm. <coughs> ah, what is pretty dolls? I want to solo, but when I want to solo, the other parts start outside. Then <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to do, it's like... Okay, how's the taste? It's really nice. Is it? It's nicer than the... Oh, the season that they have. Oh, is it? Mmm. It's chewy and like, not so... attacking you the taste. I think the final season, like, it kind of attacks me. Mmm. It's really nice. Might be... Okay. So basically, we ordered the food here, and what you see on the menu, right, is actually a big and a small. But I think we ordered both big because we weren't very sure about what we were saying. But anyway, to show you um, the taste of the food and all that, of course, we can order a big one to show you lah. So I guess that's okay. And um, the thing is, you just have to be sure what you want to eat and what you want to order. So you can go, you can order by sets instead if you don't want to order one by one because we ordered one by one. So yeah, but overall, the taste is quite. Mm, interesting, it's nice and I wouldn't say it's very very special but if you come here and it's a very uh, iconic street of Namdaemun Market so you can come here and try and then there's so many stores around as you can see so you can just choose what I sit down I think all of it to be honest tastes the same yeah and I would say that the here um, the food tastes less attacking you what's it uh? not so like strong not so strong the taste it's more suitable for people who cannot eat like kimchi and all that but um, in Kwangjong Shijang maybe because it's open and stuff it's a little bit cleaner in that sense here it's not that it's not clean it's just that it's less yeah okay so here got a lot of old people okay anyways we'll move out and then I'll tell you where we're gonna go next do you know what? yeah we ordered one by one okay guys so there is this very famous kimbap here so it's called Tong Tong Kimbap so actually I wanted to try this together with Topoki but then if I try this I won't be able to eat this other new trendy food that I wanted to introduce to you so if you are here and you are looking for a uh, like to go food you can come to this Tong Tong Kipap yeah okay first 
Go on, just go in. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we came here for this Ohyang Kaji. So Ohyang Kaji actually means five spices um, green jaw. This thing is very famous. Not very famous, but it's been a trending food. Oh my god, I understand what she's saying. You understand? Yeah. What's that? Chinese. Sanke Sanke, I don't know what she's saying. Chinese. Yeah, but it's Chinese. You try to speak? Okay, so anyways, um, it's very famous right now in Korea and um, it's just across the Demu market. I wanted to review like Topoki and all that in... I want to talk about Topoki and all that also, but then I feel like um, it's very normal to talk about Topoki and Shijangs and there's so many other Shijangs that I want to talk about the Topoki, so... Yes. I understand. Okay, anyway, so um, they're talking about some chef in, in Korea. And then, yeah, so we, I'm gonna try this food and we order four baru because we must order two food, I think. I don't think it's necessary, but then Naughty, he cannot take it that he one person order one thing, so we order two things. So if we cannot finish with the tapau because the a portion is huge. So this is actually 18,000, which is about 20 bucks, 20 to 22 bucks, and it's really, really big. So I'm gonna try. It's so shingy. Sorry guys, I'm so distracted. Okay, so it looks like this. Wow, it's so hard to pick up. Show me yours. Mm. Wow, the smell. It's very crunchy outside. Mm. And the, the other the sauce, it tastes like a normal Kobaru sauce. But it's very soft and I haven't tasted something in Korea that tastes like this. Not even in Singapore. Singapore usually you don't deep fry it, you just like stir fry. Like this. Mm. Mm. I can tell why it's famous now. But it's so... The, this one is a bit attacking me, the smell. Mm. So good. Mm. But is it worth to eat here all the way from here? Mm. I would say, if you're nearby at Nam De Moon, and then after eating all the street food, you're still not full, you can come here and try. But then, I wouldn't say it's worth like, I mean, all the way here just to eat this, but if you're thinking of eating yang kochi together, I think this will be a worth it try. Recording? Mm. like takanjo a little bit. Takanjo? Oh. Huh? Oh. Binjo not supposed the sauce, to have that the taste. Sauce, the um, sauce. How about the binjo? Mm. Yeah, it, it kicked you right the smell when you smell. Ah. I think it's better to eat it with rice. Is it nice though? How much will you rate it? But it should be expensive, I think. Mm. Mm. For 18 bucks, right? For this veggie. No meat there. Okay. okay, so I've come to the end of my eating journey and this uh, Sijang Mokbang. I had a lot of food and I'm very, 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 very full. 
But uh, what I want to say is Namdaemun Shijang is a very special place I feel to locals and I hope that it will become a special place for foreigners as well because I feel like it's a bit underrated because not a lot of people come. Just now I went to the Kalguksu, Kori, and then the people and the aunties were talking like how there used to be more people and now there's not many already. I think because not many people cover Namdaemun Shijang Mokpang anymore on videos. So I really hope that this video will help you guys who are watching this video to come here and actually explore this place so that you can find something that you like and of course there are a lot more foods that are in this Shijang more than what I ate but I'm only one stomach so I hope they can come here and try and if you have tried anything or you tried something that is nice please leave it in the comment section down below so people can come and explore also or if you have any suggestions of where else that they can try special kinds of food remember to tell people about it also in the comment section down below so thank you so much once again for watching this series and um please stay tuned to the next episode and um yes i will see you in the next one